Now to our News 8 Inside Story, the series that gives in-depth reporting like no other station here in Indiana. All this week we're getting personal, sharing stories of our teammates facing medical issues that challenge families throughout the state. News 8's medical reporter Dr. Mary Gillis is working on that for us tonight, Mary. That's right, Alexis and Phil. These are the medical issues that challenge so many people in Indiana. So this week we're sharing the stories of our colleagues here to help shine a light on what so many families face. Today we feature the one and only Randall Newsom and the day he almost lost his life. Randall Newsom sits on the set of All Indiana. Each day his personality shines through the screen, smiling, laughing, always cracking jokes. But when Randall was 15 years old, he experienced one of the darkest days of his life. A health scare almost ended it. When we sat down together, he brought me back 16 years ago to when he was a sophomore in high school, the morning he knew something was wrong. I started feeling a little heavy. Like I started feeling like there's something kind of weighing me down. And I, and I felt a little flu-like, like it was just, just sluggish and just feeling really just off. But Randall headed to school anyway, telling himself he'd tough it out. But as the day progressed, so did his symptoms. By eighth period, his last class of the day, Randall found himself slumped over on his desk with a heaviness that he says felt like someone had inserted a 10-pound dumbbell into the right side of his stomach. Instead of heading to baseball practice like he normally would, Randall called his dad, Marcus. When we get home, I just tell him, you know, I'm just going to go upstairs and lay down for a little bit, go to my room, just lay down for a little bit. And he was like, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Maybe we can figure out what's going on. But let's just get, try to get you some rest, and then let's see where we're at. But he was in too much pain to rest. His dad called the doctor and described Randall's symptoms. The doctor immediately told Randall to do a jump test. A successful jump test looks like this. But Randall's look like this. His feet didn't leave the ground. He had to go to the emergency room immediately. Once they, they did a little bit more testing on me when I got there, they were just like, oh, okay, you probably have appendicitis, but we do need to operate. The appendix is a finger-shaped pouch on the right side of a person's abdomen. Appendicitis occurs when the organ becomes inflamed, swollen, and infected, and needs to be removed. I remember sleeping gas, <laughs> and I remember somebody asking me, oh, so you play sports, and then I was out. Randall came out of surgery only to find out he wasn't having an appendicitis attack. The result of his illness was from something else. Doctors asked him if he had swallowed something sharp recently, something sharp similar to this useless paper clip I found on my desk. The answer was yes. They let me know that there was uh, a mass of bacteria that had built up in what they call the cecum which is close to the appendix, but not the appendix. A few weeks back, Randall had eaten an apple. When he bit into it, a metal piece of his braces came loose, and he swallowed it. The metal piece punctured a hole in his cecum. For weeks, an infection was building in his system. The doctor told Randall and his dad if he hadn't come to the hospital for surgery when he did, he could have died. That is weird to think about, the, the idea that you're not here, but you got a scar that reminds you every day that you could have easily not been here. Uh, it's a small incision, but it's, it's a reminder that, you know, you can't, take, you can't take life for granted. By sharing a story, Randall wants to help you. If something feels weird, if your body feels off in any kind of way, just get it checked out. It's just not worth it. I, I've done so many stories here where early detection was the only difference maker. Like not treatment, not anything else. Like the only thing was that person saying, oh, something's, something's wrong, and then going to get it checked out. Oh, and one more thing. Don't eat apples when you have braces. Randall truly is the same person off screen as he is on it. And we are so fortunate to have him here at Wish TV. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Wish TV's medical reporter, Dr. Mary Gillis.